MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell insists he has enough evidence to make every American a plaintiff in his ridiculous civil rights lawsuit against all machines, while defeated former President Donald Trump insists he has no idea what a burner phone is, Madison Cawthorn outs Republicans, and Will Smith ruins the Oscars. Select all images with married dudes that let their wife sleep with other dudes. Click, 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 click. Verify. She did her job and took an image of it before they deleted it. So lo and behold, uh, and they do it with, through seven months, seven months, everybody, a painstaking time to go through and make sure every I is crossed, every dot is T is dot. I, I. It is pouring MAGA tears. I look at some of Mike Lindell's recent wild claims and hypocrisy, discuss Donald Trump's burner phone claims, talk about the one thing that a lot of people are getting wrong about the Chris Rock, Will Smith slap, and the latest and stupid from Don Jr., Marjorie Taylor Greene, Madison Cawthorn, and more. The guy whose birthstone is a Coke Rock tweeted, Guys, <laughs> it, it is amazing how silent all the people who want Clarence Thomas to resign because his wife has opinions were on Joe Biden's family's opinions, corruption, degeneracy, etc. <sniffs> Naturally, I replied, corruption and degeneracy will be an app title for the Trump biopic. You're promoting a reliable news app and can't even get a name right in a tweet. But that's what happens when you combine Diaper Don's jeans with the guy that uses a key all day long and never opens a door. I'm up to do it from a car. I'm in a lot of meetings. I'm in a, um, I'm, it said, I told everyone before I have uh, events over the next seven days. I'm heading to another meeting shortly, but I wanted to get on here and tell you. Uh, Wait, isn't that two forks in a fancy car? Whatever happened to his claims? I don't drive around in fancy play, fancy cars or fancy vehicles. I drive a pickup truck. I don't eat with two forks. I like one fork, okay? When I have to eat with two, I have to. They're on the table. Don't lie about what you drive when you're often doing videos from your car outside a meeting. And in, in every state, we got they got to be gone. Remember, we everybody, we have the evidence now. Um, we have the evidence that... Um, um, just saying bye to his dealer. North Carolina Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn said that the Netflix series House of Cards was accurate and says he's been invited to orgies and that he's seen anti-drug Republicans do coke in front of him. Guys, I, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I know Republicans aren't known for being inclusive, but inviting someone in a wheelchair to an orgy, that's just mean. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, what are we going to do with him? Just just dump him in the corner or something. Just, just, hey. All right, so Madison, you're just going to sit there and watch, right? You're not going to do, you can't do anything. All right. Don't be careful. There's a lot of lube on the ground. Uh, can, can I get a bump from someone? House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy discussed Cathorn's comments, and he now says the comments were exaggerated and... He really wants you to believe that. And we don't. You go to a store, they don't have bread. We're like a third world country. I went to the store and there wasn't any bread. To be fair, it was Home Depot. I looked around, they had air conditioners and smart lighting, but no baguettes. You go to buy something at a hardware store? See, I told you I was in Home Depot. You go to buy something at Tiffany? Every time he says Tiffany, she thinks he's finally going to acknowledge her. Did you go to buy something at Tiffany? Excuse me, excuse me, you speak English? Okay, what aisle are like the Tiffany rings for when you're trying to convince your Slovenian wife to give you a tug now and then? Can you show me? Thank you. We have the evidence that uh, uh, that we got out of Mesa County inside the Dominion machine. It's right here on Frank's Beach. We have the evidence that the cyber guys can go to, check it all out. And um, and it's over. It's over. We have we know what they were hiding now, and uh, and it's not just so many machines, but all the machines. And uh, we got to get rid of them. Um, so Brandon. I <laughs> okay, hold on. Even he can't this keep is the bad it together. Thing about being on the road, I dropped the phone. Yeah, I have it happen sometime too. Oh, I got to see that again. Um, 
So, Brandon, I went to see you. Okay, hold on. He can't thing even keep it together road, either. Yeah, he knows I how ridiculous it is. The guy sells phone mounts on his website. Um, supply chain, we never even heard the term. It wasn't like the, the system was working. The system's totally broken. Our system is broken. If you're in business in any form and you just learn the term supply chain, you are terrible at your job. Oh yeah, he is. Click, 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 verify. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. If you want to support the show, I have these, some other mugs and fun stickers, or you can now tip me with this PayPal QR code or the link in the description. Either way, thank you for watching. Back to the show. Better. Mr. Speaker, thank you for being with us. Here now with more reaction, former counsel to the president, Kellyanne Trump, along with former Arkansas governor, Mike Huckabee. When you rant about Biden being in cognitive decline and then mess up your guest's last name, that's on the teleprompter. John Hannity. Marjorie Dog the Bounty Hunter Green tweeted, It's time to end U.S. intelligence operations against America. Naturally, I replied, your lack of intelligence is an operation against America. Stop spreading the stupid. Look at old steady hand go there. Such camera work from the biggest broadcast place ever. They really planned this one out. And uh, Doug's been working hard going all through the state, different groups. If you're watching from Minnesota, he has done, he's like a, he's like a little average any bunny that just won't stop. He just keeps going out there and get the word out, but he still thinks the ever Jenny Bunny is an actual thing. As I said before, I can't expect him to know the name Energizer since he's never changed batteries in his life because he's the kind of guy that throws devices away when they run out of juice. Or, or as someone here pointed out, he's the guy that would throw away the phone and keep the dead batteries. Honestly, I am grateful for my smart, funny, and generous audience. Thank you. Defeated former President Donald Trump's phone records from January 6, 2021, the day of the Capitol riot, show a nearly eight-hour gap when turned over to the committee investigating the events of that day. 11.17 a.m. to 6.54 p.m. We don't know what Trump was doing in that time. Could have been with Jada Pinkett Smith for all we know, but Trump is claiming he has never used a burner phone or even knows what one is. For those not sure, a burner phone is one you get so you can use it anonymously and then throw it away after. Former National Security Advisor John Bolton has revealed he heard Donald Trump use the term burner phones several times and that they were discussed in meetings and burner phones were mentioned multiple times in his own lawsuit against his niece. Marjorie Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler tweeted, We are entering a recession. People can hardly afford gas and groceries. Our border is out of control, and Biden has us on the verge of nuclear war with Russia, but the Democrats want to lecture the American people to think the only thing they should care about is J6. Naturally, I replied, pretending you care about hardworking people making ends meet when you wasted $90,000 on mask fines is as ridiculous as your Jewish space laser claims, platypus feet, and pull-ups. Margarine Taco Gristle wants to distract from Trump's seven-hour phone gap because she was on the calls. You're all the plaintiffs now. They stole our country. You are the plaintiffs. We're going to do a preliminary injunction to get rid of these machines and computers once and for all. They have violated the fundamental right to vote under statute 42-USC 1983, violation of equal protection and also due process. A Section 1983 lawsuit is a legal claim alleging that a state or local official has violated your civil rights under the United States Constitution. So in case you didn't know, you're a plaintiff now in Tom Selleck's Slow Cousins lawsuit against all machines. I'm a comedian, I'm bald, and I'm black. Okay, two of those. So it really hit home for me when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock over a joke about his wife's haircut. Every other insult I get is about being bald, and after all these years, my wife has still not hit anyone. In fact, she calls me bald every time we get in an argument. First off, Jada looks good. She's always looked good. 
Rock made a quick G.I. Jane joke referencing another movie with another good-looking woman with a shaved head, and that was too much for a guy that's in an open relationship. Will Smith can't take a joke, but is fine when his wife takes other dongs in their bedroom. It's evident the internet has no idea what alopecia is. There are five types of alopecia. Alopecia areata, acute patchy alopecia that affects 2% of the population. Traction alopecia and cicatricial alopecia. These are from hairstyles being over tight, such as braids or dreadlocks, or you know when you see someone who has cornrows for years and they just get further and further and further apart, that's that. Alopecia totalis, the total loss of hair, sides, back, top, all over. Androgenetic alopecia. This is the most common form of alopecia in men and women and is also known as pattern baldness or male pattern baldness. Yes, alopecia is just a noun that means loss of hair or baldness. Stop making it seem like alopecia is something different. Alopecia is baldness in the same way halitosis is bad breath. It's different words for the same thing. Oh my God, you smell like hot dogs and onions and mothballs. Leave him alone. It's halitosis. No, it's bad breath. Brush your teeth, fool. I lost my hair in my early 20s. It sucked. It came out in clumps at times. I dyed it blonde. I dyed it black, wore a hat, then I shaved it. The thing about being bald is you never have a bad hair day. You just have a bad hair life. Even if she were sitting there with a crop circle type of alopecia areata and Chris Rock laid into her for looking like the poster for Signs 2... It would still be funny. It's just comedy, and people get roasted at the Oscars and award shows to bring them a little closer to reality. Ricky Gervais has gone savage on Hollywood, and they mostly took it all well and laughed along. Remember all those Curb Your Enthusiasm episodes when Larry gets called bald and his wife punches them? Yeah, me neither. For the record, my late father looked a lot like Larry David. People used to ask for his autograph. It was fantastic. Why did the mayor of Moscow's wife give the Bidens, both of them, three and a half million dollars for them? That's a lot of money. So now I would think Putin would know the answer to that. I think he should release it. I think we should know that answer. This is the defeated former president asking Putin to release information on alleged foreign business dealings of the president's son, who is not and never was a government employee, unlike Trump, who handed out positions like paper towels to family, such as Jared and Ivanka, who made up to $640 million in the White House and were involved in a laundry list of ethics scandals, such as winning 16 trademarks from the Chinese government, including ones for voting machines. Let's go, Brandon. What's your name? Gamble Soup? Maga Tears. You have as much comedy as you have hair. Zero. Maga Tears. Sleepy Libs can't handle that Don Jr. has energy. The man is unstoppable. Maga Tears. Just found out this fool were in the dark night. Thanks for ruining my fave Batman. Maga Tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. If you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link below, or check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several arena and theater tours with Jim Jeffries, and I have three albums. You can stream them wherever you like. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.